What is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Beaver and his Rednecks. Today, me and Cash are going to go set out some more traps today because where we have traps at, it's not working out too well. We did get, we had one trap get set off. Nothing was in it. The other trap was a live trap, and we put some marshmallows in it. The marshmallows got taken out, but somehow the trap got set off and they still got out of it. So I don't know. We reset both of them earlier yesterday. Um, but today we're going to go put some new traps out on the land where we called coyotes in the last video. You can check it out and see now you know why we call coyotes. But uh, we might call in at the end of the day. I don't know how long we're going to be out here. Depends on how cold it is. It's not that cold right now, so I don't think the coyotes will be moving all that much. So if we do call in coyotes, we're going to call in coyotes when it's colder out. But that's if we do. I don't know if we're going to, but we are going to get some traps set up today. I think I got four of them we're going to put out here. Five, five. He's got a snare to you. So we got five of them we're going to put out here just to around closer to this part because I don't want to walk all the way down there because this isn't walking access only now. So uh, yeah, that sucks. If it was able, if I was able to drive it, I'd put traps all the way down on this son bitch. But I can't do that now. He's excited. I'm excited. Let's get to it. All right, so get this. I had my phone in my pocket right here, and uh, the SOS on it is this iPhone. You power off, you can call the emergency, whatever. And it was going whoop, 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 just like that. And I was like, what the fuck is that noise? I thought a cop was trying to call me back or something. So I looked behind me, I was like, there ain't nobody there. <laughs> Then I checked my phone and it's like on the SOS, so hopefully no cops come out here because I'm not in the middle of nowhere and I'm sending SOSs. This may not end up good. I don't think anything bad would happen out of it, but it'd be kind of funny if it did. So I'm just hoping nothing does. Now, okay, we're going to set a snare up right here because I see this and it just, to me, it looks like a snare. You know, I don't like that actually because why would something go through there when it could just go right around? I mean, there's the trail here, but once you get in there, it's like, really, what, what's, what's going to go through there when they can just go right around? Yeah, that's not a good idea. But maybe, okay, here we go. We got a trail right here. Now, you see the way the dog just went. That's where we're going to want to put our snare because, so I like to bring my dog when I'm trapping for this reason right now. It's because... He knows the ways to go. Okay, if he's a dog, he's just like a coyote, he's a dog. So he might, instead of going through that, why wouldn't he go that way? But see, it just makes sense, makes sense. Actually though, I'm gonna, that's just tough. Wait, like there's so much area I could put all these traps out here, but it's like, God damn. Where do you want to put a trap? Just out in the open, see, I'm thinking so much about it. But like Flair on his video said, don't don't think too hard about it. Just put them in the ground. Trapper Jay says the same thing. Don't think too hard about it. Just put them in the ground. So, okay. Well, that's what we're going to do. I'm not going to put it over here, though. I, we got to look more than that. I'm thinking out here in this little pasture deal, maybe around this little trail here, we're going to put all the footholds. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. This little trail here is where we're gonna put all the footholds all the way around it. Four or five of them. Because I mean, there is a trail right here, but it's like, what is it actually going up there? I wish it snowed for this reason. I could see where they're going. If it snowed, I could find tracks a lot easier. It just rained, so all the tracks that were down are gone now. He's on his Hey, he's all up in that tree and everything. What you got, buddy? What, what is it? Get it. Get it. Sick it. Now he's excited. He's like, what, 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 where is it? Where is it? So whatever, whatever it is, it's in that tree. I'm going to assume it's a squirrel. Whatever it is, it's in that tree. I'm going to assume it's a squirrel. So. Dogs. But man, this crate is heavy. Carrying this from the truck is, is one hell of a bitch. I definitely need to get a wagon if I start doing this more often, but I definitely have I definitely enjoy trapping. It's a lot of fun. I haven't got nothing yet off of it, but we'll get some, I'm sure. It's 
So, all right. Yeah, so we finally got the trap in the ground. Um, what I did is I dug it out and dug my stake in the ground far enough that they can't see it. Uh, I had it. I had a, the way I did it is I used a vise and I bent the rebar, but the way it just kind of bends around it. But the split opened just enough as I was hitting it down that the trap could come off of it. So what I did is I pulled it back out, hit it up against the tree, and closed it back up and drove it back in the ground. So hopefully that won't happen again. This here, I stole out of my grill. So I cannot find a grinder or a dirt sifter out anywhere. Cabela's didn't have them. They do online, but I don't, I didn't want to wait that long. So I just stole this out of my little grill I built back in high school. It was about the same damn thing. And uh, we did get uh, some trap pan cover. So we're gonna cover that up with trap pan and sift some dirt over it. Maybe, you know. And then we're going to drill a couple holes here, one for the lure, no we're going to put the lure on the stick probably right here and then we're going to put the bait in the ground that way it come up and I'm hoping this will work though because we got a trail that actually comes right through here which I kind of fucked that up but I don't think it'll matter too much but okay I brought my drill and we're going to drill this real fast and now uh, I'm on a budget, so I don't have any other expensive tools. My battery is dying, which is sad, so we might have to work as fast as we can with this drill. Uh, but I'm just using one of those little paddle deals. Paddle drill bits, and I'm just gonna... Well, that's out of here. Just something like that. Maybe kind of... To make that hole just a little bit bigger. There we go. Now all I'm going to do is take some of the bait here and uh, just put it on a stick and shove it down in that hole as far as it can go. So, now they're fucking with it trying to figure it out. Well, I'm going to do that real quick. You got to do this pan cover it helps it keep from getting shit in it. Nothing at all. There we go. Just, you just need one. You don't need two. Helps it from freezing up. Helps it from getting dirt down in there and stuff and just... Just helps it. Yeah. That's close. I always forget the trap is set, so my dog is wandering around. Hopefully, he doesn't decide that it's going to be a smart idea to step on it. Because it's not going to be a smart idea to step on it. And YouTubers make this look a lot easier than what it actually is. A lot of work. You gotta drive out here every day. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna go pull some dirt from somewhere else. I don't wanna keep digging this up. Just gonna cut this back up with leaves a little bit. Look at that stick. Get some drier dirt to help it cover it up. Don't need too much, don't need enough. And to cover up the chain. To cover up the chain, I'm gonna get it. All right, and now we need a stick for this lure here. It's Cavins, we got it from Cabela's. This shit stinks so bad. Gonna get a little stick here. That won't work. This one may not work yet. So, yes, you can see, we just get a big old club of fiber like that. I want to stick on there and shove it down in that hole there. Here we go. Just like that. Then, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this little, um, it's working. This here is Kevin's Yodel Dog Lure, it's just a coyote gland lure. So all we're really going to do is all we're going to do is shove it up on this stick right there. Get all nice and easy. 
we got our hole here, trap here, so when they're looking in that hole, hopefully they'll step on that trap. Simple as that, works pretty good. I watched so many YouTube videos on this lately, it's not even funny. My dog's out there wandering around. I'm gonna try taking him away. We're gonna go down this way a little bit. I wanna be on this edge here, so when I'm walking, I don't have to come down here, I just kinda go up top. Unless I get something, obviously. But yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. We got four more traps to do. Three dog proofs and one snare. Or three dukes and one snare. They're not dog proofs. But I'd like to get some dog proofs. That'd be kind of nice. Alrighty. There's the second trap. You guys can't see it. It is done, son. That one gave me hell because two sticks are not going to work. Two of these sticks are not going to work because I did not bend them with a vise. I figured, you know what, I'll just take them out and bend them with a hammer. Bend them over or whatever. Nah. So if you guys want to get really big into trapping, get earth anchors. They, you get an earth anchor, you get an earth anchor driver, which is just a big old nail pretty much. You put it on bottom of the nail and you drive it in the ground. I really want to get some of these, but they didn't have that Cabela's. No matter where you are, you don't have to be by a tree, you don't have to be by anything. You can just be out in the open, nothing there. Because what's holding that anchor down is just the dirt, because it goes down in straight. Once you get down in there, it'll flatten out like this and you can't pull it back up. It sucks if you gotta dig them out, but a lot better than driving stakes in the ground. But so that's definitely gonna be one of my next purchases because this shit sucks. But in all reality, I mean, you don't know it's there. I can definitely smell that bait though. Holy shit, that's gonna be good tonight. We're gonna try to go back more over here to see if we can't find any good, good trails because I know the coyotes are way over there. But I want to bring them this way. But like I said, I don't want to get too far off the road because like, I know this is all one lake or whatever, but if this range is somewhere like there, this fills back up, these traps are gone. If it snows, these traps may be gone. Who knows? But, and then, obviously I need to get home to my kid every day, so I'm going to be stopping here from work every day. So I don't want to have to get out and walk 20 miles just to check traps. So I want to try to stay closer to the road. If I could get it to spots where I could see it up on the hill from with binoculars, that would be convenient if I can do that. But I highly doubt I can. But we're gonna go over here and try to find some trails. It's getting windier. It sucks. It's I'm sweating balls, so I know the coyotes ain't gonna be moving. So we're probably not gonna call tonight, which sucks because I really wanted to call, but. I know they ain't going to be moving tonight. It's not cold enough. Unless it drops by the time we're done. But right now it's not cold enough. And I really don't want my dog to chase coyotes. But I mean, we can always take him home and come back out. You know, but who knows? It's Sunday. I got to work tomorrow. So we're going to do this. We're going to go over here. Find us some trails. Maybe some spots. Something. Because I bet you, you know, they're probably hunting over here too. So. That's what we're gonna do. Actually, you know what? I'm thinking maybe we should go back on that side. Cause we got two over here, set three up over here. Cause there was a coyote calling back at me on that side. Maybe that's what we'll do. We're gonna go on that side. I like that idea. Closer to the truck. I know there's a culvert over there too. We could set one down by there too. I like that idea. Culverts are always good. Cause there's always shit going in and out of culverts. Always. Maybe that's what we're gonna do. I like that idea. We're gonna do that. If I have more traps someday and I become a big YouTuber, please subscribe so I can do that. I'd trap this whole damn area. So I'd have all day to check them. But right now, I have maybe an hour when I get off work of daylight to check them. So, and it's gonna get cold, really fucking cold. So, yeah. So we're gonna go on that side. Maybe my dog can find us some nice trails or something. Hell, who knows. So in the state of Nebraska, on your traps, you do need tags with your name on it if you're hunting public land, which we are doing. So I did have a name tag on the trap, and I also put one up here. I'm not going to show you guys my phone number, but there's one on this tree here, obviously. And that helps me look, see, hey, if I forget what tree I put my trap on or something to see if it's done for or if something fucked with it or if there's something on it, I can look for these little red tags which is just a piece of electrical tape with my name and number written on it. So there you go. 
that's all you really need to do. I do believe in the state of Nebraska. If I'm wrong, please correct me and I will correct this. And Cash, what do you think about trapping? Do you enjoy trapping, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. This dog is one of the best hunting dogs I've ever had. So far, he's got a coon. He did so good on that damn coon. I was so happy. He just kept doing circles around it, making it slow down and stop. And all I had to do is walk up there and shoot him. All right, y'all. So here's what we're going to do. We got a trail here. It goes this way. We got a trail here that goes up to this tree, and they probably make a turn right here somewhere. So we're gonna put a hole. We're gonna put a trap right in the center of that. We're gonna put a hole right there. We'll make a little backing area. So I'll show you guys that when it's all done. It is a lot of work, and it's a lot kind of it'd be a lot easier if I had a cameraman. I'm not gonna lie. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna let y'all actually see the full process of this of how I do things. It's gonna be a little messy because. Since one of the stakes didn't work, I do want to tie one to a tree, but I think this one we could probably drive into the ground. It's going to be a bitch because I bend the rod. Stupid me, right? But I did bend the rod, so uh, hopefully we can figure something out, and I'm sure we can. So I'm going to hang y'all up in this tree here, and we'll see if we can get you going. Actually, I'm going to set you all on the ground. First thing I want to do is get my stake in the ground and make sure my stake's going to work as I do this. I think this would be a good spot. I don't see why it wouldn't be. There's a hole right there. Cash is checking it out. Something may come out. We don't have to fucking boot scoot and boogie it across these woods here. So if you know what I mean by that. Kick it is what I mean if you don't. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna try right here and see we'll see what happens because I don't see why not. Alright y'all, so first of all we're gonna need a chaw. So pack one with me if you get out of them, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh funny. I cracked myself up, not gonna lie. Nah. I looked over. Look at that. There's actually fresh scat, just a little bit right in that pile. Somebody tried marking over this scat. So, because we have gloves, we're gonna move this over there. It helps with the smells and stuff. Cash, come on! Well, yeah, that just tells you that these trails are obviously getting used. So, uh,. And that could be coming from this way, or that way. I'm gonna see this way and that way. I don't really know, but we have the same exact trail set up right here. But anyways, cash, go! That makes me happy. See that? I know it's weird to be happy to see dong, but you know what? Just a bunch of tricks I learned off of YouTube. I don't know where that dog is. Thing I need him is getting someone else's traps, but uh, so all I did here is we chained it up to this tree here, obviously, with a just a little hook deal because that stake is not working. So I'm gonna do my best to use this brush and kind of put it around this tree, and then we're gonna have it right there, put the hole up farther ahead of it. That way, they won't be stepping on the chain because their trail is on this side of it, and the chain is on this side. So, I mean, yeah, hopefully, this works. <laughs> hopefully this works. Hopefully my dog comes back and he's not stuck in someone's trap. That's what I'm hoping right now, but I'm sure he will. I'd hear him yelp if he did get stuck in someone's trap. He'd be barking like a mother trucker. Anyways, let's get this trap in the ground. I'm tired of being out here. Not really. I'm enjoying the shit out of this. <laughs> That went a lot better than the last time. 
this could be dig up a little bit. But that went way better than last time. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna find some dirt. We're gonna dig up a hole first. Because that died, this might be the last trap besides the snare. Till I get another stake, anyway. But all we're doing is just getting a big old glob of that. That's, damn it, I want that all over my glove. Just a big old chunk of chunk of that stuff. It looks nasty, don't it? It's because it is. I also love nasty shit. Just shove it down our hole there. Maybe break off the stick there. There we go. Just like that. Just stick it up on there. You don't have to touch it. Oh, fuck. Okay. Right. So now all we gotta do is cover up that chain. I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna do with that dong. A lot of trappers will actually save that dong, but because we're just gonna use it for the. I'm gonna put all this stuff back and we're gonna cover up that chain. We're gonna try putting the snare maybe over here a little bit. Is where that trail goes in case we miss something. It'll come over here and smell this. Uh, I'll show you how to do that to you. I've learned a lot of stuff off of YouTube. If you guys want to learn a lot, go to Trapper J. He knows how to trap. Now, I would like you guys to subscribe to my videos, but hey, if you want to learn the right way, go to Trapper J. He's the guy I learned it from. So, and this isn't the exact right way. Usually, you would want an earth anchor, but we're using our resources here. We're doing shit on a budget. And if it works, hey, maybe you guys can save some money. Hell, who knows? But, anyways, this is how we're going to do it today. I'm gonna go get some dirt and pile it up on this chain here and see what happens. See that? You guys can't even see the chain anymore because it's a little buried up. You can see a little bit, but that, psh, fuck, that ain't gonna fucking matter. I'm gonna be too interested in all these scents. And yeah, since the coyote the dog is over here, we're not gonna be afraid of this. All we're gonna do is try to pick this a little bit of this up. I like that. I got gloves on. I wouldn't do this barehanded, I can tell you that much. And all we're gonna do is we just gotta sit right there. Look at that, looks like a coyote took a shit. Right there, open it up a little bit, get that leaf up. Yeah, boom, 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 boom. So they're gonna see them and be like, oh, some check this out, something marked this territory. Something's gonna try digging that up. Maybe, hopefully. Hopefully that's how that works. If not, I just touch coyote dog with my gloves for no fucking reason. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to show you guys this that I just found, which might be nice to know I have over here. So as I was getting dirt to cover up that chain, I took it off right here. There was just a little mound here off that. Down in here, we have a camera up there. But down in here, there's two fucking got, uh, bobcat bins, and I can see a track down in there. You guys won't be able to see it because it's dark. There's another one over there too. So I'm thinking, hey, okay, there's a tree there, we have a snare, let's put one right in that fucking hole. Maybe we could pop one open. How cool would that be? So this one's a little bit wider, but that one's a lot more. Eh, you know, could be a badger, could be, I'm pretty sure it's a bobcat though. We're gonna, I'm gonna try putting our snare up right here, tie it up to this tree. Maybe we'll even tie it to this root here. If that's good, I don't know yet. But that's all we're gonna do is we're gonna, I'll show you guys how we do it afterwards, but yeah. What we do is we tied it to this tree up here, laid it on the ground, and tied it up on that hole. So if anything comes out, it'll catch it. Goodbye, coyote. Fuck yeah. Ah, fuck. Cash, no. That tells me either there's dong or something's dead over there, so that sucks for him. Right. Now we gotta put tags on these trees. Yippee ki -yay. go home and edit this video up and hopefully post it. Yeah, and I'll see you when we get back to the truck. All right, guys, so we got four traps set up. We didn't put the one out for one reason, the stakes. I couldn't get them bent, but I know we'll put it on the private land that we do have because I know a spot would be a good spot for it. I think where we have the traps now is probably where we're going to leave them. So I do have a full-time job. I work 10 hours a day, half an hour, or not half an hour, five days on Fridays, half a day. So, please guys, please do like and subscribe. It's getting tough. Everybody wants to become famous and stuff. This has been a dream since I was a little kid, you know? So, uh, 
now everybody's getting into it, so it's getting really, really hard to get subscribers because there's always someone better than you. But hey, the more we do it, the more we're into it, the better we're gonna get. That's all that matters to me, you know. I do it for fun. I do it because I want memories for my kids. I want my kids to be like, Dad, what'd you do growing up? And I can look back and be like, Hey, watch this. You can see everything I've done when I was growing up and having a good time. And if, my, if I ever kill someone or something, I can be like, hey, check this out. You can see how I killed it. You can see how I did it. You know, it's awesome. It's it's a good time for me. I really love it. I really enjoy it. I kind of, i not going to lie, I do kind of like doing the filming stuff. Even though I do wish I had a cameraman. I'd edit everything if I could, but well, I would do. But I do, I kind of wish I had a cameraman just to make it a little bit easier. You know, I wouldn't have to worry about ca carrying stuff. I wouldn't miss anything if it was funny or not, you know, but... It is what it is. It's kind of awesome, though. So, please do like and subscribe. We are trying to get to 500 subscribers by Christmas. It's coming up so fast. I think we've got one week left. And we're not even halfway there. It's tough. It really is. So, yeah. It was fun today. I had fun. Cash had fun. I don't know where he went. <laughs> so, yeah. Please do like and subscribe, guys. Thank you. Everything you guys do for me, I want to give back to you guys. So. Have a good one and I got poop.